what's up everybody and welcome to mass effect legendary edition this is the remaster of the beloved trilogy mass effect 1 2 and 3 it has been a long time coming i have been wanting to put this on a channel for so long and just the news of the remaster and the time for me to put it on a channel it just fell in the place completely perfect i will ask to keep the spoilers to none at all for myself and for the people that are watching for the first time. A little about myself, I am a completionist gamer at heart. I like to take in everything about the game. I like to laugh, have a good time. I talk a lot. I don't talk over cutscenes. I just enjoy every aspect of recording. It's a wonderful hobby of mine, so coming on here, having fun, and playing the games that I love is something that I am very passionate for. But I am super excited to get started. I just can't believe Mass Effect is here. I'm just going to take it for what it is. I'm going to do everything I possibly can. I intend to read all the stuff, do all the DLCs. And I know that Mass Effect 1, there's a DLC in Mass Effect 1 that I don't believe in ported. I have been kind of keeping up the speed with what they were doing. I didn't want too much spoiler, so I wasn't on the lines of watching everything possible. So I do know that Mass Effect 1 is completely overhauled. 2 and 3, maybe a graphical upgrade, but yeah, that's... That's all I can really say. I'm just excited to get into it. So let's just jump right into Mass Effect 1. Let's start it. The beautiful music of Mass Effect 1. Wow. Let's look at the settings here. I did try to tweak it a little bit before actually starting the recording. So let's look at it. We have everything up. I want to at least look this stuff over because I am not sure what some of this stuff like film grain. I have no idea. Dynamic shadows, motion blur, definitely off. V-Sync, yeah, sure, I guess. Though if we turn V-Sync off, won't it go up higher frame rate? I don't even know if YouTube allows that. Who knows? If I'm making a mistake, let me know. Film grain, anti and whatever the hell that is, and ambient occlusion. So that looks about good. I believe everything else is good. Insanity, damn right, we're doing it. And we have this legendary mode. In classic mode, the original 160 level range will be used instead of the new 1 to 30 level range. XP and talent points progression remains the same, but the number of levels is doubled. Legendary mode would be the new 1 to 30, and then the classic mode would be 1 to 60. Well, let's just do the legendary mode. Let's start fucking new. Let's do the new stuff. Tutorials? Yes, we need all that stuff. Of course. I don't know what the hell is going on. And then everything else is probably good. So let's go ahead and start. Let's go, let's just jump right into it. I cannot wait to dig into the CC. It's probably gonna take about 70 years. My beard is gonna grow completely full by the time we're done with this. Welcome to Alliance Military Database. <laughs> oh, Classified go. information <laughs> requested. I love it. Establishing secure connection. Secure connection confirmed. Wow, hello. So, man, Shepard, you look fucking badass. Look at female Shepard. Absolutely awesome. Let's do enter new ID. Custom male. We are definitely playing a male. I do tend to do a little bit of RP, and so it's always hard for me to RP as a female, though I do love playing females in games, but when it comes to our canon Shepard, it's going to be a male. So let's do male Shepard. Please log in to access John, your profile. The old iconic name of John. We're going to name him, let's see, Atticus Shepard. There's no meaning behind it for me. It's just an awesome name. I feel like it absolutely flows off perfectly. Atticus Shepard. Just badass. Atticus Shepard? Absolutely badass. Maybe I have a thing with A's as well. I don't know. Every one of my characters, if you look at the other Let's Plays on the channel, seems to have A's. <laughs> Atticus Shepard. So let's go ahead and confirm. I am so excited, man. I, I can't believe we're about Warning. to play Mass Effect. Data oh my gosh. Detected. Please reconstruct profile. Profile confirm reconstruction. Confirm pre-service history. All right, so let's nerd out here. Let's see what we can do. We can do Spacer, Colonist, and Earthborn. Let's see, Spacer. Both your parents were in the Alliance military. Your childhood was spent on ships and stations as they transferred from posting to posting, never staying in one location for more than a few years. Following in your parents' footsteps, you enlisted at the age of 18. Pretty awesome. Colonist, you were born and raised on Mindar, a small border colony on the Attican Traverse. 
When you were 16, slavers raided Minduar, slaughtering your family and friends. You were saved by a passing alliance patrol and you enlisted with the military a few years later. Wow. Pretty rugged background there. And then Earthborn. You were an orphan raised on the streets of the great megatropolis covering Earth. You escaped the life of a petty crime and underworld gangs by enlisting with the Alliance military when you turned 18. Alright, so I want to do Spacer. I don't know what Spacer would be about. And I just can envision the character here that we're going to create as a Spacer. So we're going to do Spacer. psychological profile. Soul Survivor, War Hero, and Ruthless. Whoa. Soul Survivor, during your service, a mission you were on went horribly wrong. Trapped in an extreme survival situation, you had to overcome physical torments and psychological stresses that would have broken most people. You survived while all those around you fell, and now you alone are left to tell the tale. Wow. Absolutely badass background there. Shepard went through some shit with that background. Your hero, early in your military career, you found yourself facing an overwhelming enemy force. You risked your own life to save your fellow soldiers and defeat the enemy despite the impossible odds. Your bravery and heroism have earned you medals and recognition from the Alliance fleet. I really like that background a lot. I think it feels really good with what we would go with, but let's listen. Let's see what Ruthless is. Throughout your military career, you held fast to one basic rule, get the job done. You've been cold, cold, calculating, and brutal. Your reputation for ruthless efficiency makes your fellow soldiers wary of you, but when failure is not an option, the military always goes to you first. Wow, that's a really awesome background too. I'm thinking I want to do War Hero. So Spacer War Hero, War Hero feels really good for Shepard. And just the Shepard that I'm envisioning us making here. To War Hero. Confirm military specialization. We have Soldier. Engineer, Adept, Infiltrator, Sentinel, and Vanguard. Soldier. Soldiers are combat specialists ideal for the front lines of a firefight. Soldiers have improved health and specialize in the use of all weapon types. Start with the ability to wear medium armor and can train in the use of heavy armor. The basic pretty stock soldier. You seem very beefy and can take a lot of stuff because you can wear at least medium from the beginning. I like that. Engineer. Engineers are tech specialists using a holographic Omni tool. They can decrypt security systems, repair or modify technical equipment, disrupt enemy weapons or shields, and heal their squad. Interesting. Engineers can only wear light armor and they specialize in pistols. That is an awesome sounding class too. Engineer sounds really cool. Definitely full force tech basin, hampering the enemy lines, knocking their shields off, disrupting enemy forces. That sounds really awesome. And Adept, wow, look at him, badass. Adepts are biotic specialists through upgradable implants. They can use biotic powers to lift or throw objects, shield the squad, and disable or destroy enemies. Adepts can only wear light armor and they specialize in pistols. Basically, I would say this is the Mass Effect version of a mage, in a way. And then we have Infiltrator here. Infiltrators combine combat and tech abilities to specialize in killing or disabling enemies at long range. Infiltrators are trained to use Omni tools, focusing on decryption and offensive abilities rather than healing. They can specialize in pistols or sniper rifles and wear medium armor. So this feels like more or less a split between soldier and engineer. And then we have sentinel, biotic, and engineer type. Sentinels combine biotic and tech abilities. Typically, they use biotic abilities and advanced healing skills to defend allies. Though they can also disrupt opponents with biotic or tech abilities, they are more efficient at tech and biotics than other classes, but at the expense of combat. Sentinels can only wear light armor and receive no specialized training at all. And then Vanguard. Vanguards are biotic warriors. They combine biotics and weapons to take down opponents and are especially deadly at short range. They specialize in pistols and shotguns and wear medium armor. Absolutely fucking badass. So that sounds like a biotic mixed with a soldier. We did a community poll in the channel quite a while ago, about a month or so ago. And what I was thinking is I wanted to play a biotic. So I could not pick. It was between the adept sentinel and vanguard and i left it up to you guys and it was a unanimous vote of you pick surprise us i can't pick so i let my daughter 
put the names of all the classes in a bowl and she picked it out, which the video is cute as hell and it's in the community tab if you want to see it. And she picked Adept. We are going to play an Adept. Confirm facial Thank identification. Thank you, little one, for making up my mind because I cannot. Change appearance, yes. All right, well, I'm not going to put you through the 75 hours of character creation, so I will be back when I create our character. Here's our Shepard, 75 hours later, here he is. I really like him. I feel like Atticus Shepard just fits so good. And it just, like, just this one just comes out to me and just, it just feels really good. I love it. Let's go ahead and start. I want to get to it. If you are interested in the character you like the character you want to tweak it you want to do whatever you want go ahead and steal the code i do not care it's really not too much different from the stock model the the basic first uh cycle appearance or whatever it was i mean it's a little different obviously but i really like them i just cannot wait to actually start i can't wait to get into the mode of shepherd what i'm going to do before we go, let's just finalize, and I'll Profile talk more. Reconstruction wow. complete. Absolutely badass. Look at him. Atticus Shepard, space or war hero. I want to play this as if it's me in the game. I want to make the choices that I would make if I was in this situation. I mean, he doesn't look that different to me. He's a bit more handsome, but still, he doesn't look too much different. We got the same big ass head. But I want to make the choices as in what I would make instead of being locked to one side or the other. So... I would say that I am this or that, but I'm just going to let the choices go ahead and speak for itself. Just go ahead and get into it. I cannot wait. Once you confirm your character is complete, you will be unable to change any settings. I think he looks good. I am just ready. Identification confirmed. Insanity, auto level up off, legendary mode. Let's try it. Squad power usage defensive determines which skills and talent squad members will use in combat. Let's use that. Yeah, subtitles, autosave, enable tutorials. Let's use defensive. I may turn it off eventually. Because when it comes down to strategy type stuff, I like doing it all myself. So we'll see. We'll keep it defensive for now. Insanity. Wow. This is gonna get I'm gonna get my ass whooped. Let's fucking do it. Here we go. Mass effect, baby. Oh my god. Well, what about Shepard? He's a spacer, lived aboard starships most of his life. Military service runs in the family. Both his parents were in the Navy. He proved himself during the Blitz. Held off enemy forces on the ground until reinforcements arrived. He's the only reason Elysium is still standing. We can't question his courage. Humanity needs a hero. And Shepard's the best we've got. I'll make the call. In the year 2148, explorers on Mars discovered the remains of an ancient spacefaring civilization. In decades that followed, these mysterious artifacts revealed startling new technologies enabling travel to the farthest stars. The basics for this incredible technology was a force that controlled the very fabric of space and time. They called it the greatest discovery in human history. The civilization of the galaxy called it Mass Effect. Holy shit. I think I read it all. <laughs> awesome. Arcturus Prime relays in range, initiating transmission sequence. Commander? We are connected. Calculating transit mass and destination. The relay is hot, acquiring approach vector. All stations secure for transit. Thrusters, check. Navigation, check. Internal emissions sync engaged. All systems online. Drift, just under 1500k. 1500 is good. 
Your captain will be pleased. I hate that guy. Nihilus gave you a compliment. So you hate him. You remember to zip up your jumpsuit on the way out of the bathroom? That's good. I just jumped us halfway across the galaxy and hit a target the size of a pinhead. So that's incredible. Besides, specters are trouble. I don't like having them on board. Call me paranoid. You're paranoid. The Council helped fund this project. They have a right to send someone to keep an eye on their investment. Yeah, that is the official story. But only an idiot believes the official story. Only an idiot believes the official story. We have, I agree, you're overreacting and cut the damn chatter. Move the mouse to highlight a reply on the conversation wheel. Left click to select about the chatter, huh? That's enough. Your soldiers, act like it. Sorry, Commander. Joker, status report. Just cleared the mass relay, Captain. Stealth systems engaged. Everything looks solid. Good. Find a comm buoy and link us into the network. I want mission reports relayed back to Alliance Brass before we reach Eden Prime. Aye, aye, Captain. Better brace yourself, sir. I think Nihilus is headed your way. He's already here, Lieutenant. Tell Commander Shepard to meet me in the comm room for a debriefing. You get that, Commander? Is he upset? Yeah. I think you pissed him off there. He sounds angry. <laughs> Something must have gone wrong with the mission. <laughs> Captain always sounds like that when he's talking to me. Can't possibly imagine why. <laughs> You're a good guy, Joker. We got two renegade points. Oh, here we go. Press escape with the... Open the journal on your... Okay, I got it. But let's see. I want to go to the... How do I get to... Squad? Is it squad? The squad screen lets you view your team's talents. Mouse over the talent or its rank to view it. Click on the talent to spend a talent point. To gain a rank in it, as you gain levels, you will acquire talent points to unlock higher ranks. Okay, so I did change. I'm so happy that they have this identity code here. But I changed a little bit in from the CC to now. I actually went back and I redid the character. There was some weirdness going on with the lower part here. His cheeks were kind of just out and his jaws were sunk in. I don't even know. It looked absolutely crazy. But this is the new updated code. If, Like I said, if you want it, take it. Do whatever the hell you want with it. You tweak it to your liking, I don't know. Anyway, so let's see, we got basic armor here. Light armor, able to equip light armor, increases damage protection, grants the shield bonus ability. We got pistols, which we can't go into yet. We got the ability throw, throws enemies away from the caster with a force of 600 newtons. We got lift, let's see, warp, inflicts six damage to the target every second and lowers the target's damage protection by 50%. Oh my word, that sounds so silky. Barrier, stasis barrier. Bolsters your shields with a biotic barrier that will absorb up to 400 points of damage. Will not block attacks that bypass shields. Wow. The adept one is reduces recharge time of throw, lift, warp, singularity, barrier, and stasis by 4%. And increase your biotic protection by 6%. So we have charm and intimidate. How many points do we have here to spend? Oh, we have three. Let's do... Let's do two and intimidate. I don't know where I'm going to go with this. It's on insanity and I'm probably doing a bad by going with these. But I want to put two points in the here and one point here for now. Or maybe two points in the charm. No, we'll do this and this. I want to max out these as much as I can. As if they keep going and unlocking more, I want to, I want to maximize it. I want to get stuff because I don't know exactly where we're going to go. We won't know until we pick the choices. Did you seen that toggle helmet? Oh, as you seen, it was the down and up choice. I don't want to be tailored to one side. Let's let's save, huh? All right. Well, let's see if we can talk to people before we. What does it want us to do? Journal, prologue on the Normandy. You are Lieutenant Commander Atticus Shepard, Executive Officer on the SSV Normandy. We don't have assignments. No assignments yet. All right. Can we talk to Joker? The captain's waiting for you in the comm room, Commander. Well, he's gonna have to wait a little bit longer because I need to mingle, baby. You probably don't want to keep the captain waiting, Commander. All right, Caden. All right, let's go in. Is there anything pick up codex-wise? I'm telling you, I just saw it. Navigator Presley. He's a oh. They're always on a mission. And we're getting dragged right along with them. Relax, Presley. You're gonna give yourself an ulcer. How do we? Let's. How do we put a weapon away? Let's change. Wow. Kessler. A Lancer, Storm, and an Avenger. Wow. It's some. Let's put that away. 
Let's not, let's not bullet hole the Normandy up, huh? How do we fucking holster our weapon? H, there we go. <laughs> Navigator Presley. Congratulations, Commander. Looks like we had a smooth run. You heading down to see the captain? Heard you arguing he wants to see me, yeah. We heard you arguing, man. Sounds like you don't trust our Turian guest. Sorry, Commander, just having a chat with Adams down at Engineering. I didn't mean to cause any trouble. But you have to admit, something's odd about this mission. The whole crew feels it. Well, Joker definitely feels it. And you need to calm down. What did the other gentleman say? Calm down before you get an ulcer? <laughs> you think the Alliance Brass is holding out on us? If all we're supposed to do is test out the stealth system, why is Captain Anderson in charge? And then there's Nihilus. Spectres are elite operatives, top covert agents. Why send a Spectre, a Turian Spectre, on a shakedown run? It doesn't add up. Maybe extra protection, friend. I mean, you never know. Stealth systems... Wait a minute, hold on. So, I'll look into it. Just do your damn job. <laughs> Shepard can be an asshole, huh? Absolutely great! Stealth Systems, Captain, and Turian Inspector. Let's just start at the top. Alright, it says it right there. Investigate. What do you know about the Stealth Systems? I just know it masks our location from scans and sensors. Cutting-edge technology. The Normandy's the only ship with this prototype drive. But why are we fully staffed? A skeleton crew would be cheaper. Less chance of security leaks, too. Plus, there's Nihilus. It's pretty obvious this shakedown run is just a cover. A cover and you're wrong. I don't really agree with them. It, it's like, is it ever a bad thing to have a bunch of people on your back in a mission? Shit could go wrong. We never know. So I would say you're fucking wrong, pal. A full crew makes sense. We need the extra hands in case anything goes wrong. And the Spectre is just here as an observer. Well, maybe you're right, Commander, but I just can't shake this feeling that we're out here on false pretenses. Maybe, but it's better safe than sorry there, Presley. Do you have a problem with the Captain? No, sir. But I can't figure out what he's doing here. Captain Anderson is one of the most decorated Special Forces officers in the service. If he melted down all his medals, he could make a life-size statue of himself. You don't send a soldier like that on a do-nothing mission. He's treating this shakedown run too seriously. Something big is going on. Taking this all too serious? I mean, he is in charge, though, so... Turian Spectre. You don't trust Nihilus. I don't like Turians in general. It runs in my family. My grandfather fought in the first contact war. Lost a lot of friends when the Turians hit us. That was long ago, plus he's a Spectre. That was 30 years ago. You can't blame Nihilus for that. No, I guess not. But it still makes me nervous to have a Spectre on board. Especially a Turian. We're an Alliance vessel, human military, but Nihilus doesn't answer to the captain like the rest of us. Spectres operate outside the normal chain of command. And they don't come along just to observe shakedown runs. <laughs> Nihilus looks like he's expecting some heavy action. So, like it. super soldier to shadowy type operative, the way that he's saying about a specter, the way specters are. I mean, that's what it feels like. Just do your job, I'll look into it. Yeah, I guess we'll look into it, man. I'll see if I can get some answers when I see him. Good luck, Commander. Wow, this game looks absolutely fucking epic. I love it. We're gonna do a lot of reading, friends. We're gonna do a lot of reading, a lot of investigation. I want to 100% this game. I want to take in this whole game. Everything this game, the second game, third game has to offer. Like I said, I grew up on Eden Prime, Doc. It's not the kind of place Spectres visit. There's something Nihilus isn't telling us about this mission. That's crazy. The captain's in charge here. He wouldn't take orders from a Spectre. Not his choice, Doc. Spectres don't answer to anyone. They can do whatever they want. Kill anyone who gets in their way. Oh, you watch too many spy vids, Jenkins. He's watching too many spy vids. I bet he watches a bit more vids than spy vids there. Wids? Spy wids? I bet he, he watches way more than spy stuff, Chakwas. Alright, so let's talk to Jenkins and Chakwas. What do you think, Commander? We won't be staying on Eden Prime too long, will we? I'm itching for some real action. I sincerely hope you're kidding, Corporal. Your real action usually ends with me patching up crew members in the infirmary. <laughs> Relax. <laughs> the doctor's right, part of the job? <laughs> I mean, I think she speaks right here. Only a fool goes looking for a fight, Corporal. Sorry, Commander, but this waiting's killing me. I've never been on a mission like this before, not one with a Spectre on board. 
Yeah, just another mission. Don't get your fucking panties in a bundle here. Do your job, follow my orders, and there won't be any problems. Easy for you to say. You proved yourself in the Blitz. Everybody knows what you can do. This is my big chance. I need to show the brass what I can do. Don't play the hero? Yeah. This mission isn't about personal glory, Corporal. We have a job to do. Don't do anything stupid to mess it up. Don't worry, sir. I'm not gonna screw this up. <laughs> Absolute fucking asshole. <laughs> Commander for a reason, Nihilus. What can you tell me about Nihilus? Turians are generally well respected by the other species. Their fleet has more patrols protecting Citadel space than any other. They don't always get on well with us, though. Some people find them too rigid. Others still blame them for the first contact war. As for Nihilus, I haven't said more than two words to him. He usually only speaks to the captain. I hope we get a chance to see him in action. I heard Nihilus took down an entire enemy platoon all by himself. Well, I wouldn't mind seeing him in action, too. The Spectres do sound fucking interesting. Well, here we go. We can learn about Spectres right here. What do you know about the Spectres? Only what I've heard. Spectre agents work directly for the Citadel Council. They usually work alone or in small groups. Spectres don't have any official power, though. Basically, they're a shadow organization with a mandate to preserve and protect galactic stability. Protect it at any cost. Don't forget that part. Spectres operate above the law. No human Spectres, and that's dangerous. Why don't we have any of our own people in there? Spectres usually come from the Council races, like the Turians. We've been trying to get a human accepted into their ranks for years now. So far, it hasn't happened. Hey, Commander, you'd make a good Spectre. You're a war hero, right? Held off an entire enemy fleet during the Blitz single-handed? That's the kind of talent the Spectres are looking for. This is all just wild speculation. The Spectres aren't interested in recruiting humans, no matter how capable. Jenkins just reminds me of just a young teenager, just so happy to just do anything. He just wants to, like, it doesn't even matter. He'd be so happy to just take finger paint and draw on the wall, and he would just have the time of his fucking life. I absolutely love it. Spectres are sounding dangerous, yes. Definitely. How do you control agents with unlimited power? I suppose the Council could revoke the Spectre status of an agent who got out of hand. At that point, Citadel Security Services would take over. Those C-Sec grunts wouldn't stand a chance. The Spectres were 20 ordinary soldiers. The Spectres police themselves. An agent goes rogue, they send another agent to take him down. That's Spectre justice. The Corporal's confusing romantic legends with reality, Commander. Romantic legends with reality, all right. Well, Eden Prime. You're from Eden Prime, aren't you, Jenkins? What's it like? It's very peaceful, Commander. They've been real careful with development, so you don't have any city noise or pollution. My parents lived on the outskirts of the colony. At night, I used to climb this big hill and stare across the fields back at the lights from the main settlement. It was gorgeous. But when I got older, I realized it was a little too calm and quiet for me. That's why I joined the Alliance. Even Paradise gets boring after a while. Any idea why Eden Prime was chosen as our destination? Not really sure, Commander. Eden Prime is one of our most stable colonies. Good place to take the Normandy for a shakedown run, I guess. No real danger there. There's got to be something else going on. We've got a Spectre on board. That's why I'm so wound up. I can't wait for the real mission to start. He's going to blow a fucking gasket here. The captain's waiting for me. Goodbye, Commander. Take it easy, Jenkins and Chakwas. Have a good day. Take care. Like I was saying, we are going to take all this in, friends. I'm going to dedicate some time, probably at the end of episodes. Maybe not this first one. But I want to dive into the codexes quite a lot. I want to learn about this freaking lore so much. This will be one hell of an experience. And I cannot wait to even share more. So let's go talk to this Nihilus. Commander Shepard, I was hoping you'd get here first. It will give us a chance to talk. Where the hell is the captain and talk? Where's the captain? Oh, yeah. Sure. What about? I'm interested in this world we're going to. Eden Prime. I've heard it's quite beautiful. Beyond beautiful, I wouldn't know, and so what? Honestly, I don't... I don't really know. I have no idea. I've never been there. But you know of it. It's become something of a symbol for your people, hasn't it? Proof that humanity can not only establish colonies across the galaxy, but also protect them. But how safe is it, really? Is that a threat? That does kind of sound like a damn threat. Are you trying to scare me, Spectre? Your people are still newcomers, Shepard. The galaxy can be a very dangerous place. Is the Alliance truly ready for this? I think it's about time we told the Commander what's really going on. 
This mission is far more than a simple shakedown run. <laughs> Obvious. <laughs> I think we figured that out the first time Anderson came above the uh, the intercom there. I already figured that out. We're making a covert pickup on Eden Prime. That's why we needed the stealth systems operational. You should have told me. And what? Secrecy. What are we picking up? Hmm. There must be a reason you didn't tell me about this, sir. This comes down from the top, Commander. Information strictly on a need-to-know basis. A research team on Eden Prime unearthed some kind of beacon during an excavation. It was Prothean. I thought the Protheans vanished 50,000 years ago. Their legacy still remains. The mass relays, the Citadel, our ship drives. It's all based on Prothean technology. This is Big Shepard. The last time humanity made a discovery like this, it jumped our technology forward 200 years. But Eden Prime doesn't have the facilities to handle something like this. We need to bring the beacon back to the Citadel for proper study. Obviously, this goes beyond mere human interests, Commander. This discovery could affect every species in Council space. So, I was just about to think that. Why exactly are we telling them? Technically, wouldn't you want the stuff to better our species? But then again, this could open doors exactly with the galaxy. Open doors, make friends with the uh, other races that are in the fucking galaxy. I'm sure there's a shit ton. So why did we tell the council? Would that be a question? Or would we get stuff if we went to this side? Let's, let's dig. Why didn't we keep the beacon for ourselves? You humans don't have the best reputation. Some species see you as selfish, too unpredictable, too independent, even dangerous. Sharing that beacon will improve relations with the Council. Plus, we need their scientific expertise. They know more about the Protheans than we do. The beacon's not the only reason I'm here, Shepard. Nihilus wants to see you in action, Commander. He's here to evaluate you. <laughs> like hell he is, this motherfucker ain't evaluating me. No way, period. Why? I should have known. Yeah, let's ask why. I want to know what the hell is going on. What's going on, Captain? The Alliance has been pushing for this for a long time. Humanity wants a larger role in shaping interstellar policy. We want more say with the Citadel Council. The Spectres represent the Council's power and authority. If they accept a human into their ranks, it shows how far the Alliance has come. You held off an enemy assault during the Blitz single-handed. You showed not only courage, but also incredible skill. That's why I put your name forward as a candidate for the Spectres. So, no human Spectres, and they want us to be the first. It just feels really good, then, that we have that war hero background, doesn't it? So we have a type of background here that probably got us so many heroic medals, I could imagine. I would say a Medal of Honor in our world would they might have given Shepard in this world. I don't know if they call it Medal of Honor, but I can imagine they probably give him something on the lines of something like that. So you put my name forward, yeah. This is interesting to have another race actually want us as in humans, since people, he said that they think we're selfish, to go forward, well. Why would a Turian want a human in the Spectres? Not all Turians resent humanity. Some of us see the potential of your species. We see what you have to offer to the rest of the galaxy and to the Spectres. We are an elite group. It's rare to find an individual with the skills we seek. I don't care that you're human, Shepard. I only care that you can do the job. I assume this is good for the Alliance. Earth needs this, Shepard. We're counting on you. I need to see your skills for myself, Commander. Eden Prime will be the first of several missions together. You'll be in charge of the ground team. Secure the beacon and get it onto the ship ASAP. Nihilus will accompany you to observe the mission. Nihilus and Shepard, partners in crime here. Let's dig. Protheans, Eden Prime, and the Beacon. What do you know about the Protheans? Just what they taught us in school. They were a technologically advanced species that ruled the galaxy 50,000 years ago. Then they vanished. Nobody really knows how or why, though I've heard plenty of theories. But everyone agrees galactic civilization wouldn't exist without them. Their citadel is the very heart of galactic society, and without their mass relays, interstellar travel would be impossible. We all owe the Protheans a great debt. Basically, the Protheans created the citadel, and then that's some of their achievements, probably even more at this point. A great race that just randomly disappeared 50,000 years ago. Crazy, huh? 
I'd like to know more about Eden Prime before we touch down. It's a peaceful farming world, but it represents something much bigger. Eden Prime is one of our oldest and most successful colonies. It proved we were ready to face the challenges of settling new worlds, to forge a place for humanity beyond Earth. It symbolizes humanity's growth and evolution as a spacefaring species. And after this, it will be known as the world where humans made a discovery of galactic importance. And then this is what we're going for, the beacon. Let us know more for sure. Why is this beacon so important? All advanced galactic civilization is based on Prothean technology, even yours. If we hadn't discovered those Prothean ruins buried on Mars, we'd still be stuck on Earth. That was just a small data cache. Who knows what we can learn from this beacon? What if it's a weapons archive? We can't let it fall into the wrong hands. The Protheans sound so mysterious. So the Protheans were literally... I want to say that they... The way it feels, right? The way it feels just right out the get-go here. It feels like they were leaving stuff. Just like you said, we found Prothean stuff on Mars. And that led us to basically space flight, in a sense. So the Protheans are leaving this stuff. And then they just mysteriously vanish 50,000 fucking years ago. Wow. Like who? The Attican Traverse isn't the most stable sector of Citadel space. There are plenty of raiders and criminal groups active in the region. They might figure a Prothean beacon is worth the risk of attacking an Alliance ship. Plus, Eden Prime is right on the border of the Terminus systems. The Attican Traverse is under Citadel protection. If the Terminus systems attack, it's an act of war. Technically, yes. But some of the species in the Terminus might be willing to start a war over this. The last thing the Council wants is to get dragged into a major conflict with the Terminus systems. We have to keep this low-key. So, something split, basically? Different system? That's probably a bit more shady than the other system? Just give the word, Captain. We should be getting close to Eden- Captain, we got a problem. What's wrong, Joker? Transmission from Eden Prime, sir. You better see this. Bring it up on screen. Get down! We are under attack, taking heavy casualties! I repeat, heavy casualties! We can't! Get evac! They came out of nowhere! We need... Cuts out after that. No comm traffic at all. Just goes dead. There's nothing. Reverse and hold at 38.5. The claw. Looks like a big giant ass claw. Status report. 17 minutes out, Captain. No other Alliance ships in the area. Take us in, Joker. Fast and quiet. This mission just got a lot more complicated. A small strike team can move quickly without drawing attention. It's our best chance to secure the beacon. Grab your gear and meet us in the cargo hold. Atticus is ready. Look at him. Tell Alenko and Jenkins to suit up, Commander. You're going in. Well, good thing we didn't have a skeleton crew, as what Presley wanted. Engaging stealth systems. Somebody was doing some serious digging here, Captain. Your team's the muscle in this operation, Commander. Go in heavy and head straight for the dig site. What about survivors, Captain? Helping survivors is a secondary objective. The beacon's your top priority. Approaching drop point one. Nihilus, you coming with us? I move faster on my own. Nihilus will scout out ahead. He'll feed you status reports throughout the mission. Otherwise, I want radio silence. Can we trust him? Can we? He can count on us? I want to know. I want to see what Anderson says. Yeah. I don't like putting my life in the hands of a Turian, sir. Nihilus is on our side. He wants you in the Spectres, and he wants that beacon. That was that was a bit rough. I wasn't expecting him to say that, but I was just gonna... I was wondering if you thought that we could trust him. 
We've got his back, Captain. The mission's yours now, Shepard. Good luck! We are approaching drop point two. Wow. Ship perimeter secure, Commander. So we're on Eden Prime. We have to. We have to. I have to fuck some shit up. We can't leave yet. This place got hit hard, Commander. Hostiles everywhere. Keep your guard up. We sure the hell will, Nihilus. Use right mouse to draw your weapon. Press H to put it away. H for holster. How the fuck do I get into the inventory? What was the inventory? Let's do I. It's probably I. Whoa. The equipment screen allows you to equip and upgrade gear for your squad. Click the filter tab to switch item types. Select an item and click the equip button to assign it. Click on the equip items upgrade slot to select an upgrade. Click on Omnigel button to break down the selected item into Omnigel. Got it. Well, we probably don't have nothing here. So wait, how do I get to that's journal squad? I don't know how to get to this one. We'll figure it out eventually. So Hayden Alenka, we can toggle his helmet. Oh man, looks absolutely awesome. So he has two points. Let's see. Let's go into decryption. What is this one again? You can use the encryption skill on easy objects. Does 50 damage in a 6 meter radius, overheats enemy weapons, burns them for 2 damage per second. That seems like an underwhelming amount of damage, too. That's, it might just pepper him. It might be a mosquito bite. So, let's do... we do first aid? Let's do barrier. For sure. Barrier, and then we'll do... Maybe we should do first aid. Let's do first aid. Restore 40 health for all wounded party members. So we pop a heal, it heals everyone. Thank you, Caden. You're absolutely awesome. Look at Atticus. Atticus Shepard, friends. Oh my lord. Wait, did I save Caden's? Yeah, it was saved. Look at him. Get that helmet off there. You don't need it. So we have no points for us, which is fine. Richard Leroy Jenkins. Gotta be. The L has to be Leroy. Oh my goodness. So, what are we going to give Leroy? Soldier? Increases your health by 4%, regenerates 3. Sure, have one in there. You probably need first aid friend. Let's do overkill. Allows lone burst of the assault rifle fire without overheating. Only available when using assault rifles. Fire and assault rifle generates 80% less heat and does 50% more damage. Ooh, there you go, Jenkins. You're ready to whoop somebody's ass. We can't take your helmet off, friend. Alright, so be it. All right, well, let's fucking get a move on. Can we... Let's see, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight up top there. Can we... Oh, so this is... Oh, here we go. And we can pull our companion stuff up there. So let's do... Can we just drag it? Oh, that's so fucking sexy. Caden, can I drag your stuff up here too? Oh, I can't. Can we use this? Sniper? Oh my goodness. See ya! Have a good one! Fucking wrecked him. Think we're good, Commander. We good? Damn. <laughs> Let's... Wow, this sniper is so freaking awesome. Holy moly. An adept sniper? Let's... Let's look in the area. And see if there's anything about before we... Oh, can we look at the map? Let's see. Shield regenerator? Well, here we go. Hold on. How do I... Let's do... Let's put that on. Shepard. Let's see. We have... Armor. Shield regenerator. A secondary power source increases the rate at which a combat suit kinetic barrier capacitors can be replenished. 15% shield recovery? Yes, sir. Thank you. That will be fine and dandy. Let's go to... So, the Adepts specialize in pistols. Shit. Fucking misfire. Alright, the map. We got the mini map down here, which my big ass fucking head is probably blocking, but well, it will block the gun on the other side. So, this is probably the best place for it, I would imagine. So, let's go. This is good. Let's go this general way. Can we mark stuff? We can. Let's mark. We probably don't even need a mark, but still. Let's just. Let's, let's just explore, man. This is absolutely crazy. So, people are here. Oh, God. Things. What's happened here? 
we have this big ass claw and now we're trying to recover this beacon but all hell is breaking loose does that thing go away no it doesn't so let's get rid of it Absolutely shredded. See ya, Jenkins. Holy shit. Get some. Completely missed. What did I do? That was throw. Warping. Taking your armor completely off. Everything else. Fucking disembodied. Whatever. Completely done. What's up, Caden? We did it. Chest bump. Prime will never be the same again. It absolutely will not be the same, friend. Jenkins, we can investigate Leroy. Rip right through his shields. We're out of chance. Damn. There's always a character. He was such a nice kid, too. Like I said, finger painting, love and life, probably. Would have enjoyed just anything. He deserves a proper burial. Forget about him. Oh, my word. We'll see that he receives a proper service once the mission is complete. But I need you to stay focused. Aye, aye, sir. Paragon. There we go. And then journal updated. What the journal update with? You were in charge of a ground team dropped onto Eden Prime, an Alliance colony under attack. Your primary goal was to find and secure the Prothean Beacon. There was nothing else. All right, well, let's keep on pushing forward, friends. A lot of shit's hitting the fan here. We're going to shoot all these fucking bags. See ya. Medigel is needed to heal injured squad members. Omnigel can be used to bypass decryption and electronic challenges. Both can be acquired by defeating enemies and opening containers. Press F to use Medijail to hear your squad. Well, I'm at 100% health and Caden is... I think he's... Alright, let's not do that. Holy! Take cover, baby! Let's throw. I don't... Well, throw does a little bit, it looks like. Completely missed! Alright, let's pause. Let's use Sabotage from Caden. And then let's work on this one here. You sabotage him, Caden? Go ahead and sabotage him, friend. You wanna... You wanna sabotage him? I don't wanna push him out there. There you go. You were... Got some burned out buildings here, Shepard. A lot of bodies. I'm gonna check it out. I'll try to catch up with you at the dig site. As you gain levels, use squad screen to improve your team abilities. So you gotta press escape to do it. Alright, so he's gonna check out more... Did we level up? We didn't level up. Well, Nihilus is going to check out more. So, be careful, man. Shit is definitely hitting the fan here. So, hey, Caden was probably stuck, I guess. He wasn't using an ability there? Wait a minute. Let's look and make sure we're good. I want to cover ground. Wow, this looks so good. It's, it's playing so smooth. Like, this game was... When did Mass Effect 1 come out? 2007-ish? It just feels like it's playing so smooth. Wait. Use spacebar to issue orders to squad or use Q to attack the target. Press zero or you send your squad mates and press nine to call them back. Got it. Get over here. Alright, so there's nothing around here. Cool. Holy moly! We got more coming, Kate. Get in cover. Looks like you fucking mopped them up. We didn't even have to do nothing. I like that you can just get into cover. We ain't taking cover. Take that! Absolutely shredding here. What is over here? Oh, here we go. We got something. A medical kit? Alright, well... Do we... Let's heal. And then let's pick up a medical kit. That was probably a bad choice. Wow, but... Alright, so what I'm going to do, before we go any further, I'm going to save here. And when we get back, we will explore more of Eden Prime. I just want to keep going, friends. I do not want to end the episode here. I still can't believe that we're actually playing Mass Effect. It, here we are. Mass Effect. Wow. 
starting Mass Effect on the channel. Like I said, it has been a really long time coming and I'm just so ecstatic to do this. But just sitting here and doing this is just such a freaking pleasure, man. So I guess before we head out, let's just see if there's one thing that we can knock out before we go. Because I am dying to know. All right, so Shepard's profile. Interesting. Born into a naval family, you spent your childhood on ships and stations. You moved from posting to posting as your parents were reassigned. You enlisted in the Alliance military yourself on the day you turned 18. You were on shore leave at Elysium when the first wave of Skillian Blitz struck. A massive coalition force of slavers, crime syndicates, and Batarian warlords attacked the human colony, determined to wipe it out. You rallied the civilian inhabitants, leading them in their desperate fight to hold off the invaders. When enemy troops broke through the colony's defensive, you single-handedly held off and sealed the breach. After hours of brutal fighting, reinforcements finally arrived and the enemy broke ranks and fled because of your actions. Elysium was saved and you are regarded throughout the Alliance as a true hero. Wow. What a fucking epic tale, Shepard. Absolutely awesome. And that's probably a lot with the war hero stuff. So, interesting. Well, I'm going to head out here. When we get back, we will keep on trekking up here. This is the dig site and this is the camp. So we will keep pushing forward and see if we can find this beacon. Anyways, my friends, I'm out of here. Take it easy. Have a good one. Stay safe. See you next time. Take care.